Hi guys, so April the 18th is fast approaching and I just wanted to put together a video that highlights April the 18th from the iPad GOAT video and these different events that are going to be happening on April the 18th, all kind of significant with the different meetings between the world leaders and stuff like that going on. In that same week, there is a, a project called the Sky Glow Project, which is going to be commencing between April the 15th and April the 21st. Um, it's by the International Dark Sky Association, never heard of them, but they sound ominous, and they are going to be conducting a Dark Sky Week, which is where they encourage people to turn off their lights for one hour each day for a week. Now, I take a couple of things out of that. First is the Dark Sky Association name, as I said, ominous, very dark. The time frame, April 15th to April 21st. That's within the time frame that we're looking at. April 18th is that in the middle of that. And the fact that it's Dark Sky Week. Now, that could be subliminal messaging for EMP or cyber attack. Something that causes the lights to go out, as has been referenced in a lot of movies and the iPad Go 2 video. It could be that if that does happen, maybe Project Bluebeam comes into effect with some sort of illusion, visual display, or perhaps something is revealed when the lights go out, such as an, uh, an exoplanet or, you know, some, some body like a asteroid or meteor. I'm not saying I believe in all those things, but those are some of the most common theories regarding these events. So, just kind of wanted to put that out there. Um, if anything does occur, it's more likely that it will be some sort of cyber attack. Which causes the lights to go out. Because they've referenced that in the media already. Saying that Russia managed to hack into the systems and had their, you know, their fingers on the power plants. And they could have turned them off at any time. There's no news on whether... The US government has uh, managed to fix that problem, but we'll see. It's not too far away now, so we'll see. April 15th through to April 21st, Dark Sky Week. Just bring that to your attention. And uh, around about the same time, around April the 15th, is the Day of the Sun. So while the Dark Sky Week starts on April the 15th, the Day of the Sun also starts on April the 15th. Two counter opposing things, the yin and the yang, just more subliminal message in there. So, it is in North Korea, the Day of the Sun is the celebration or the commemoration of Kim Il sung, the founder and former president of North Korea. And it's a three day festival that starts on April the 15th and it's called the Sun Festival. And obviously, there's a lot of references to sun worship and stuff like that in the media. Um, in the iPad Goat video with the Helio font connecting to Helios and Apollyon, it's all it's all there connected to the sun deity that they worship. Um, the illumination connected to the Illuminati, it's all there. So I don't know if they're going to um, use this North Korean holiday as something to show another sign or to enact an event or to do a sacrifice or to do a ritual or to do nothing at all. I have no idea, but I thought I'd just point it out because it seems significant. The Day of the Sun and the Dark Sky Week starting on the same day in the time frame where the third lunar month begins. The 18th of April is there as well, so a lot of things going on. I thought I'd just uh, point that out. Um, what's also interesting is even though the celebration commences on April the 15th, as I mentioned, it's a three-day holiday, so the day itself is followed by two days of rest. So April 15th and then two days of rest, April 16th, April 17th, and then the holiday is over by April the 18th. I don't know. Just thought I'd point that out because I thought it was uh, significant. And then around the same time, so everything is connected in terms of time. I don't know if the events are connected in terms of the message that should be conveyed, but um, certainly around... April the 15th, this storm system starts to develop. Um, by April the 16th, it moves out into the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, by April the 17th, it's still there, but even bigger. 
and um, obviously I don't have a projection yet for April the 18th. These are early models, so they could change. But at the moment, a couple of significant events in terms of Dark Sky Week, Day of the Sun, and a swirling vortex of wind, uh, a tornado or a cyclogenic storm could be, or not restar or a psychogenic bomb, you know, these things that they, they name it, meteorological bomb. I don't know, but it's rather large and um, could intensify, could dissipate. I'll keep an eye on it, and uh, if it's necessary, I'll update you as to what's going on with that. If you'd like to look at it yourself, you can go to ventuski.com and uh, have a look at it there. Um, projections up to the 17th of April at the moment. So that is basically what I want to point out in this section of the video, just all the things that are going on in that in that week, in that time frame. Um, I feel like there's particular significance to this this week we're looking at, and um, we'll see what happens. It's the last date that I can that I can think of. Um, I even looked at like flash forward this TV show, American TV show that came out in the September 2009, um, looking at it for subliminal messaging. And um, at one point they flash forward and they show like April the 29th and it's like a note, note pad he's writing on and it said, who else knows? Um, and I thought that might be significant, but again, it could just be two times nine, which is 18, April the 18th, or it could be nine, one and one, which is nine eleven. So, it may not be April 29th at all, but April 18th instead, 9-11 event. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. Um, again, I don't know if anything's going to happen, but there's a lot of indications towards that time frame. There's a lot of events happening on that particular day with all the meetings and stuff that are going on. Um, definitely a day where I'd say if there was a day you'd say in history, recent history, that you could say was like attributed to peace and safety, then April the 18th would probably be probably be it. With uh, you'll see in later on in the video, but you know Japan and uh, the USA meeting, North Korea and South Korea meeting, other things going on which are going to be highlighted in the video. Um, you guys have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and God bless. Let's get to the next part. On to April the 18th. Um, as it's another one of the watch days. So just want to put this out there um, ahead of time. The uh, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe and Donald Trump are to meet in Florida at Mar-a-Lago on April the 18th. Um, on April the 18th, uh, the key resolve part of the exercises between South Korea and America will have uh, begun. I think it should be, you know, starting around that April the 14th or something. Um, they haven't given an exact date, but the fall eagle exercise started April the 1st and the key resolve exercise will follow later in the month around that time. Um, at the same time, South Korea and North Korea are holding a preparatory meeting um, before their um, actual meeting on April the 27th. So they'll be meeting on April the 18th at the same time, obviously, as the Japanese Prime Minister is meeting Donald Trump and the... Uh, key resolve exercises are going on uh, two years ago on April the 18th would be when they uh, put up the uh, Arch of Palmyra or the Arch of Bell in central London, Trafalgar Square. So that would be a two-year anniversary on April the 18th. Something to uh, obviously pay attention to, look out for. Uh, Bell in uh, ge geotic occultic writings is known as one of the seven princes of hell. So um, the fact that they're, you know, erecting an arch to such a being in the middle of London should, you know, kind of draw your attention to it. <coughs> Typically, they do these things in three, so you'd think after three years, in terms of April the 18th, 2019, that something like that would happen. But, you know, 2018 has been a crazy year. Um, it looks like the year where all these things are happening. So um, regardless of whether it's two or three years, after the actual um, event, I'll pay attention to it. So it's also the day of military glory for Russia, the day the Russian soldiers in the Battle of the Ice under the command of Prince uh, Alexander Nevsky defeated uh, some German soldiers. 
<coughs> so, you know, more significance even for Russia. And um, we have Israel as well, of course, um, celebrating Yom Hazikaron. And basically it's a memorial day for the fallen soldiers of Israel and victims of terrorism. Um, the independence of Independence Day of Israel follows the next day on April the 19th. However, they will be celebrating the Independence Day on April the 18th with various different um, activities going on. But there's a lot of references to 70, obviously, because their 70th year. So in April, Israelis will celebrate the 70th anniversary of the establishment of the Jewish state as marked by the Hebrew calendar. And there will be 70 hours of celebrations in Israel society that connect us all. The events are tailored for both young and veteran audiences, for entire families and also for Jews around the world. Um, in Israel's Independence Day will begin with a torch lighting ceremony the evening of Wednesday, April the 18th and continue through Shabbat. Events over the three days will include Israel and the world sing together in which Israelis and Hispora Jews will sing simultaneously a fireworks show, a 70 kilometer party that will rave across the country from uh, Tiberias to El Eliot and a parade of lights planned for Thursday night illustrating Israel's success and innovation. There's also a pre-Shabbat 70th horror uh, which will be held at 4 p.m. on Friday. So obviously a lot of references to 70th, 70 being their 70th anniversary or 70th Independence Day and um, a lot of things going on on April 18th as well across the world in relation to kind of like peace and safety really. Um, President Donald Trump and Shinzo Abe discussing peace and safety, I'm guessing, at Mar-a-Lago. The North Koreans and South Koreans with their preparatory talks referring to peace and safety, the military drills for peace and safety. It's all it's all kind of referenced there. And obviously the Arch of Bell being uh, put up two years ago on that day is of particular significance to me because obviously it's in London, so I'll be paying very close attention to that. Um, I might even take a trip down to central London one of these days just to uh, have a look around, see what I can see. Um, with that, I think I've covered everything I wanted to cover. Um, so you guys have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and God bless. Hi guys, this video is just a very quick video about why I feel so strongly about April the 3rd or April the 18th. So I went on Wikipedia and I searched up April and um, I'm just seeing that I've done some of this research before and I've made a video about it a long time ago, um, probably last year sometime. I'm just going to quickly reiterate some things. So April's birthstone is the diamond. Obviously in the iPad Gold video, we have a direct reference to a diamond on this skeleton's hand. As the scene develops, we then see that the skeleton is wearing a flower in his hat. And that flower is a daisy and the birth flower of April is either a daisy or a sweet pea. In this case, we have the daisy right there. In this scene here, I pointed out in my video yesterday that we appear to have the Statue of Liberty and then developing after that, we have the Star of David which kind of points us in the direction of Israel, so Israel and New York, which is where the Statue of Liberty is based. And uh, this year, the uh, Independence Day of Israel starts in the evening of April the 18th and ends in the evening of April the 19th. And there may be some celebrations in New York um, for Israel's Independence Day. Israel is preparing for its 70th, 70th Independence Day and Cultural Minister Miri Regev has plans for Israel's friends and allies abroad. In this scene, we also have this image over here with this uh, iceberg sort of thing going on. And then we've got what I can see, what looks like the number two, followed by another two, and then the number three. And obviously I pointed out those connections before because they do appear, excuse me, they do appear in the video elsewhere, which I'll get to in a few minutes. But two and two, I'm calculating as four and three is obviously April the 3rd. Or if you're looking at the lunar calendar, 
that would be April the 18th, the third lunar month in the third lunar day. So, having found those connections, I've already pointed out the fact that I think this could be a slightly erased A, and we've got the three drops here, which point to three, April 3rd, or again, April 18th, depending on how you're looking at it, either Gregorian calendar or lunar calendar. Um, then you've got another A here, and number three. We then have, I've already pointed out how this bottom line doesn't seem as if it has been drawn um, in connection with the others, rather it's separate. So what's left is the letter A, which makes up the frame of the house and the number three, which is on the side, or you've got three and three, which could be the third lunar month and the third lunar day. Um, then we have the teacher's hair over here, which is the twos upside down, and the three, again, I think that's referencing four and three, so April 3rd again, or April 18th. In this scene here, we appear to have what looks like could be a depiction of 12 months and April the 4th month appears to be the one sitting closest to the exit. Um, and then, <laughs> it just keeps going, <coughs> and then we have the LC scene here, which I've already pointed out that the C could, you know, indicate um, the number 3, and uh, if you join that up with the 15 here, then you've got 18, um, which corresponds to the third lunar month and the 18th lunar day, which is, sorry, the third lunar month and 18, so uh, April the 18th. Um, and then, obviously, some other things I pointed out as well, which is upside down the Psalms 23. Over here, you've got an etched in 18. You've got the three... Um, you've got the A, which joins up with the connection with the tail of the three. And then some other uh, images are depicted, like uh, an earthquake, tsunami, uh, EMP, submarines, um, and, some other, and some other stuff I've gone through in a previous video. Um, then you've got, over here, you've got a number three over here again, and three here. Third lunar month, third lunar day, April the 18th. Um, something I wanted to point out here is this tower, if you look at it, the lines and stuff, they actually make up, you know, one of those medieval helmets facing this way. So you've got like where the eyes would be, the open part, and then the shield part of like that guards the, the chin and stuff coming down, um, you know, coming across. It's one of the medieval helmets. I don't know if you can see it, and it's got the cross on the top kind of like the, uh, I can't remember what they're called, but, you know, back in the day, these uh, people that used to fight for, like, Christianity and stuff, um, they used to wear this kind of chainmail outfit. This is all chainmail, and this is, like, the helmet. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but, you know, I think that's, if you just focus on this part facing this way, this part being the eyes, and then you can see the rest of the uh, the helmet, which makes up one of those medieval chainmail kind of things. Also, this dark shadowy part on the side, if you just focus on that, um, I'm going to point out something here. This white line here and this white line here, they appear to be slit eyes. And then you have like uh, kind of like a grin and a pointed chin leading down into what looks like kind of like a pointed beard and the head coming up and over again. And the reason I point that out is because we've seen an image like that before, which is on the chalkboard, which is the same kind of pointed chin coming up with the, you know, elongated head and the kind of evil grin with the slitted eyes. So they used this, uh, this demonic image several times. I think it's in reference to uh, like a joker. And that's obviously in connection with April Fools because on April Fools people play jokes um, on each other and this is kind of like the Joker, the trickster. Um, that's why he's grinning and uh, you know it kind of all kind of connects together. And uh, in the boy's eyes, you've got uh, J.K. pointed out the three and the three over there, which is 
uh, again, could be the third lunar month and the third lunar day. And um, even when the Psalms is the right, right way around, you could take this as an L and you could take that as a three, um, which is, you know, the lunar third, which is in April, April the 18th. Um, sorry, not April the 18th, uh, April the 15th, 16th. And then um, you've got the 18 etched in over here. So lunar third, 18, all corresponding to the same kind of April time frame. Just a few more. The This scene here with the blue man, we've looked at this as the number 23, um, following the kind of inline, the black inline inside the red lines. But what I can see now is that if you follow the red lines, it could be a three backwards and a three forwards. So that mirror opposites, three and three. You see that follow the red lines and do it backwards and then opposite. Three and three, third lunar month, third lunar day. Um, obviously, I pointed this out as well. The the scene that looks like a giant tsunami or a cliff rock face, whatever it is, um, appears to have the word April written within its structure. And then, uh, actually, I think that's it. So there's all the reasons there why I'm thinking April the 18th, April the 18th. Um, this is exactly why I think these these things, everything seems to be uh, um, connecting connecting together. So as I said, I feel like uh, Passover is referenced in the video, which is March the 31st. Um, and some events may happen before that, which leads to the mosque, which I think may be the Al-Aqsa mosque, being bombed or maybe something symbolically like that. Um, which leads to the events escalating and then come April the 3rd or April the 18th, um, these other events that we've talked about um, potentially happen. So in complete disconnection with the April 3rd, April 18th video that I've just done, um, I just wanted to point out that Britain expels 23 Russian diplomats over nerve agent plunging into worst battle with Moscow since Cold War. So I've already pointed out the fact that, you know, Russia and their submarines have been traveling through the English Channel. They've been probing British airspace and other NATO allies' airspaces. They've got um, nuclear capable missiles um, on the edge of Europe. So they've really kind of stepped up their aggressive stance in the last couple of months. They've just tested their uh, hypersonic missile. They've got their nuclear drone canyon uh, ready to go. Um, they've positioned troops along the border of Russia and uh, North Korea. They've, they've done a lot. So in response to the nerve attack or the, uh, you know, chemical attack, um, we've expelled 23 Russian diplomats, which um, is going to really push the alliance that the UK has with America in terms of will Donald Trump what will Donald Trump do this is the question that um, is being posed at the moment what's going to happen with Donald Trump is he going to support the British um, I saw when he was uh, doing a quick uh, interview with the press he said that he would support whatever the British government you know came up with in terms of you know results but he has been very slow to criticise and punish Russia in the past, and uh, the reasons for that are unknown. You can take your guesses. But this is going to really push things. It's really going to push things, and this is the reason why I think um, Britain is also encoded in the IPEC GOAT video, represented with the pound coin that we see in the classroom um, with Obama and the LCC with the pound kind of partially under underneath his foot. Um, and the reference that I pointed out on the chalkboard, where it appears that the submarine, if you take this part of it, 
up to the fins here and the line through. Then you've got the symbol of the pound coin. Um, and there's another representation of the pound coin as well, which I believe is um, outside in the Psalms part of it. Actually, it's better if I show you on this image. In the Psalms part of it, this part here where it kind of bends round and you've got the line through. Again, that could be a representation of the pound coin symbol kind of on its side, something affecting the UK, uh, Britain, which is only uh, kind of more emphasised with the fact that the stuff going on with Russia at the moment um, appears to be reaching a point of no return. Back to the Cold War days. So, you guys, that's the end of my video. I hope you can see why I think April the 3rd, April the 18th um, is when these events really happen, kick off. But I also understand that there's a potential for events to begin in March, particularly in the Middle East, where Israel and Iran are really at each other's throats at the moment um, and appear ready to, you know, get into that whole conflict. And um, with Donald Trump taking away or firing Rex Tillerson um, and putting Mike Pompeo in his place, um, he is more of a hardliner on, on Iran and it's likely that the Iran deal will um, be, in, be in jeopardy. So you guys have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening and God bless. We don't know if those percentages are going to hold in each of these precincts, but is there enough if you're getting 53, 57, whatever percent of that 6,000 versus what uh, a lamb is going to get out of those remaining 3,000 or so in Allegheny? And again, you do the math right there. We did it a minute ago. 918 votes. That's the margin right now. 918 votes is the lead. That looks like a four. 918 for Connor.